In this session, let's understand the concept of uh, future value of annuity. In the beginning itself, we have understood that uh, if you want to understand future value, it has to be divided into two. One is future value based on uh, single cash flow. The other one is uh, future value based on annuity. So for that, first of all, we should understand what is this term annuity. Annuity is basically uniform amount which is invested at uniform intervals. Okay, So the focus is on uniform. Every year, I invest a particular amount, a certain amount at uniform intervals. That is every year I am going to invest the same amount. Then that would be called as annuity. So in such cases, how to find out the future value? We know the future value of single cash flow, if it is compounded, it can be found using a simple formula. But in case of uh, uniform cash flows, what is the approach? Let's see the formula part. The formula future value of annuity is annuity, I am using the symbol A, multiplied by, we are slightly getting into a comprehensive formula, okay, 1 plus i raised to the power n minus 1 whole divided by i. So this is the formula which we will be adopting for computing the future value of annuity. Okay, this formula is basically an extension of our uh, future value of uh, uh, single cash flow formula. The alterations have happened here. This is the zone where alterations have happened. And in future value of single cash flow, here we had principal, but here we are having annuity now. Okay, so formula wise, I mean, it's uh, basically your future value of single cash flow formula, but we have modifications in these two points. Okay. So to understand, let me give you an example. Let's say I'm going to invest 1000 every year for a period of three years. I'm going to invest 1000 every year for a period of three years. So let me have a column here, year one. Year two also I will invest 1000. Year three also I'll be investing 1000. Now. I am interested in finding the future value of these cash flows and these cash flows are uniform so I will call them as annuity. I am interested in finding the future value of these annuity. Now forget about the future value of annuity formula. Let's say you know that you are going to invest 1000 in year 1 for a period of 3 years. That is this 1000 is going to be invested for a period of 3 years. How do you find the future value? What you will do? You will multiply this with 1 plus i raised to the power n because that is your future value of single cash flow formula, right? So what I will do? Here I will have another column. I am going to call that as interest factor which is nothing but 1 plus i raised to the power n. If you recollect your future value of a single cash flow, it is a multiplied by 1 plus i to the power n or p multiplied by 1 plus i to the power n same thing and let's say my interest rate is 10 percent so 1 plus 10 percent is 0 0.10 raised to the power for how many years this thousand is going to get locked this thousand is going to get locked for a period of three years okay now comes one important understanding when i am making this investment I said I am going to invest 1000, whether I am going to invest this 1000 in the beginning of the year or at the end of the year. If I am going to invest this 1000 in the beginning of the year, then I would agree that this 1000 is purely invested for 3 years. Okay, But if I am going to invest this 1000 at the end of first year, then it will actually get invested for a second year fully third year fully, it means it is actually invested only for two years. So understand, I am going to invest 1000 every year for a period of three years. If I am investing in the beginning of the year, then the first 1000 will get invested absolutely for three years period. But if I am going to invest at the end of the first year, then this first 1000 will get invested only for two years. Okay. Now, I am going to make an assumption that I am not investing in the beginning of the year, I am investing only at the end of the year. It means this 1000 is not invested for 3 years, though I say it is 3 years, 
it is not invested for three years it is invested only for two years so what i'll do i'll say one plus i raised to the power n i'm not going to take it as three rather i will take it as two it is 1.1 to the power 2 so it is 1.21 this is my interest factor and now if i multiply this interest factor with the amount invested that is 1000 let's see what i get 1000 multiplied by 1.21 i will get 1210 this is one critical understanding that is required when it comes to future value of annuity what is the point of investment? Are you investing in the beginning or in the end? Okay, now move on to year two. I'm going to invest this thousand again at the end of year two. My overall investment period is three, three years. It means I'm investing at the end of year two. It means it will get invested only for third year. So there is only one full year investment. That understanding is required. So in that case, I'll say, it is 1 plus i, it is 0 0.10 raised to the power 1. It is invested only for 1 year. Okay. So 1.1 raised to the power 1, we get value as 1.10. So now let me multiply. 1000 multiplied by 1.1 is going to be 1100. Then comes third year where I am going to invest this 1000 for how many years? Nothing. Because my investment itself happens at the end of third year, it will get exhausted at the end of third year. Because my investment date, my expiry date, everything is same. In that case, 1 plus i, that is 0 0.10, is invested for how many years? For 0. So 1.1 to the power 0, any number to the power 0, raised to the power 0 is equal to 1. So 1000 multiplied by 1, how much? It is 1000. So now let me add all the 3. So if I do that, what's the number? Let me see. 3, it is 3310. Okay. Now this is the most complicated way of approaching future value of annuity. I won't suggest you to try this first of all. Okay. But this is the logic behind it. It means if I'm investing 1000 every year at 10 percentage for a period of three years, then the future value of that annuity is going to be 3310. Now this complex calculation is what compressed into that formula. And when you complete the formula by applying all these numbers, you should get the same value that is 3310. Let me check the arithmetical part once again. Is it 3310? Yes. Okay. Now, let me feed all these values in future value of annuity formula and let me check whether I'm going to get the same value. Okay. So, let me take it here. The numbers are 1000 invested every year for 3 years at 10 percentage. Basically, we have to find out what is the future value of annuity. Okay. So the formula is future value of annuity is annuity multiplied by 1 plus i raised to the power n minus 1 whole divided by i. Okay. So we know annuity is 1000 in this case multiplied by 1 plus i. What is i? i is 10 percentage. So 10 percentage can be written as 10 by 100 which is 0 0.10. So I will say 0 0.10 raised to the power n. In this case, n is 3 years, so I'll write, I'll write raised to the power 3 minus 1 divided by i is 10 percentage, that is 10 by 100, so I'll write it as 0 0.10, okay. So this calculation, let's see, 1000 multiplied by 1.1 raised to the power 3 will be 1.331 minus 1 divided by 0 0.10, so it is 1000 multiplied by 1.331 minus 1 is 0 0.331 divided by 0 0.10. So 0 0.331 divided by 0 0.10 will give you 3.31. So it is basically 1000 multiplied by 3.31. So 1000 multiplied by 3.31 you get 3310 
and let's check whether it is tagging with our earlier calculation. Yes, we have 3310. So understand, it is this set of complex calculation, okay, what we did in this table is what compressed into your future value of annuity formula. So understand and appreciate, let us not get into the theorem part, I am not going into it, but this formula will help you to calculate the future value of annuity, that is your uniform cash flows. Now, very, very, very critical, important assumption in this formula. What is that? This formula assumes, assumption is your cash flows are happening only at the end of the year. Okay. This formula assumes your cash flows are happening only at the end of the period. It means if your cash flows are happening in the beginning of the year, this formula will not work out. Okay. So that's why I made the assumption that I'm going to invest 1000 every year at the end of the year for a period of three years. So if I rather change my assumption that if 1000 is going to be invested in the beginning of the year, then this formula will not work out. I have to make some modification, which I'll explain later. But understand the future value of annuity formula, what we have now will work only on the assumption that cash flows are happening at the end of the period. Thanks for watching this video and I hope you like this lecture. If you wish to learn more on the areas related to this topic, check our comprehensive course. I have shared the details and link in the description below. Click sign up and enroll. I'll see you inside the course.